Hello, Red here, bringing you part 120 of the Byzantine Empire campaign. Last left off, we now own the Holy Roman Empire, and it is in our control. There is a slight problem, though. We have too many vassals. The Holy Roman Empire has elected for secession, and a lot of people hate us, so we cannot change the law. To make the Holy Roman Empire, um... Well, actually, I changed my mind. We could solve one of the problems right now. So the major problem is that, of course, the Holy Roman Empire does have the fact that it has elective secession. I didn't like elective secession, and a lot of people in the Empire will basically hate us if I destroy it. Another problem is that our direct vassals, we have just way too many kings in our Empire. Look at all those king titles. All those kings. We have every single king title we can possibly have, and I'm fine with that. But it does create the problem that um, we don't have strong leaders. So that enables us to basically have the problem with the fact that it's not very centralized, and I cannot rely just on a few people, I have to rely on many to ensure the safety and continuity of the Empire. But it does allow us to manage our vassals a bit more, so it doesn't make one guy become such a huge problem, it's multiple people. And multiple people is a lot easier sometimes to handle just one person. And if one person absolutely loves you and he controls all the France and Germany, that's great, but if if they do don't like you that much, they could try to persuade just a few people to do that. But we're, we're gonna actually... You see, the Holy Roman Empire has been very thorn on my side, and I think it's gotten time to... I think we're time to destroy it. First off, we will um, we'll create a new name for it before we end it. It's not holy; it's a uh, the not Roman Empire, and the not Romans um, Empire. So it's not the it's not the whole Roman Empire. See, you know, I said that, so it's not it doesn't exist. It's, it makes it not true. Because who's going to stop me? Anyone in this world is not going to. So, uh, sorry, Holy the Roman Empire. Uh, I mean, the not Roman Empire. We're going to just have to destroy it. So, Bastilius Sepatonis the Great has destroyed the title of the non Roman Empire. See, it's not Rom it's not the Roman Empire. And if an AI creates it, then it's not the Roman Empire. And, you know, it's not true. Hey, it doesn't exist. There we go. But we do have the fact that uh, people want independence. And I'm assuming with what I just did, a lot more people will. Not like us that much. But I don't. It doesn't matter. We're fine. It's totally fine. We will prevail. And everything will be alright. What we do need to do is bury a few people. Can you see, like, people like the King of Castile. I would like to bury some vassalage. Like, um, Navarra. Let's see here. Can I review? No, because Prince Fowler just absolutely hates me because I uh, kind of took his kingdom from away from him. And if I can, can I um, transfer Vatslidge over? Nope. Are you a king title? You shouldn't be a king title. A duchy title. It's like, you'll, I could use the transfer you over. So the game just refuses to do that. Is Navarre its own just like... Let's see here. Because the kingdom of Navarre is not created. It's just a duchy. But whatever. Uh, someone wants to kill someone, but the province of Elysium, the former Roman province of Elysium, has been restored to its rightful owners in the resurgent Imperium Romanum. With the eastern shores of Adriatic secure, this important recruiting ground may prove vital in future campaigns to reclaim Rome's proper borders in the west. Uh, long live the empire, whatever, whatever. But yeah, I cannot bury you. Or maybe, well, I don't know. 
would like to bury you. And you. Nope. You just don't have to be under my control. My daughter can just. Because that's good. But do you need to find a way to bury for people? And all of a sudden, actually, is not that good. Let's see here. A lot of revoltings now occurred. A lot of people want control of this land. But let's see here. We cannot really remove this land over here. Uh, or create the Kingdom of Greece. That would solve a problem. We could change the law around so that it removes centralization a bit. Move down to medium centralization. Oh, and the Mifocyte fate triumphant. The adherents of the fight is still dwindled to the point where the Mifocyte leaves on the majority. Oh well. Let's see who can marry you. I tend to let female thieves and bandits get away with light sentences than men. I might condemn a woman to a few months in prison while this man may get off one of his hands chopped off. And that's how it should be. Uh, sure, I don't think anyone knows that I give light sentences to women than men, but Sarah, and all of that favor giving men more severe punishment than women, that's great. Okay, well. Count Neophytos, can I bury you? So I can. There we go. And you get rid of six people in this land. I think, um. We have Lance Arcal. Galish. Duke's Pyros. I'm trying to you. P-Y-R-O-S No Okay, well We have to come up with a solution fast We could bury the Duke of Normandy The France Um, and while we look at that, uh, not really The chance of Vassalage there we go. And you, this bottle of Aquitaine, uh, wants independence. Uh, no. Actually, how big are you, anyway? 187%. Hmm. This is going to be interesting. Alright, so. Sir Arthur Lame has declared the Byzantine Revolt League Independence War on Bastilius Sebastius the Great. Wonderful. That's a lot of people revolting. Let's see who can we um, raise. Okay, a fair bit of men. No, I would just like to remove the Arcatanians as far as I could. I think if I get my central force of these men here. Where's my retinue even? Still marching along. Uh, okay. Well, we could actually remove some of your titles and give it to someone else. That actually solves our problem, doesn't it? I think it does. But uh, let's go and fix this. So you want independence if I lose. 
Okay, if I surrender. Only you become independent, and I love my lot of medium crown authority. No, thank you. So you currently have 113,000 men. I currently have 95. Um, I pretty much got you, don't I? Yeah, my retinue is uh, worse for wear. So I think if I get enough troops here, it's 24,000 here. If we go. Get all of our boats over here. We march a gigantic army over to Aquitaine and just surgically remove them from my land. I think we should be fine. Of course, we'll have to go through the painful process of getting everyone onto a boat and trying to clear this wall. I think if we have enough troops to just siege it down, it should be perfectly fine. Also, we do have some people here, I've noticed, like you. Someone here is a direct vassal of me. We can take care of that. The vassal limit for now is it pretty contained. So we'll take care of that later, when, before we die. Unfortunately, though, a lot of people here don't have good transports to other places. So I think that if we... We have to forfeit a few people. I think I should be fine up north. A few of these German states have and access the ports. We've sent more here. You... No, you're not lucky enough. I oh, could send you here. See if we roll the dice. So I you though. The cross your fingers, they won't die. Alright. Let's get everyone on boats. Everyone on the boat. Send you all down to the Bay of Biscay, if that's what it's called. And simply send you on your way. Now make sure you're not going to all die, and make sure you siege as quickly as possible for this wall. And not utterly destroy me. Thank you very much. There we go. Because our red news is dying over here. My mistake to do this. That I thought that if we owned the land, it wouldn't affect uh, supply that much. I was wrong. It was the worst thing in the entire world. But let's see what troops we get on the capital. With all of our boats. Every single boat. We have a lot of troops on our side, and they're still going to be scattered as much as we are. So we should be fine in that sense. And I'm waste pregnant. Hopefully, we get a son this time, finally. Probably not. But it's good to be able, um It's good to think, maybe, probably not, you're not going to get a child, uh, a boy. 
We grab another doctor, three doctors, and they're all going to be pitiful and weak. We do need a new swordsman. So go and research meds and take down our capital. And send another wave of boats over. And we'll be sending all of our troops too, down here. But one thing I might have to do is lower centralization. We may have to give more power to our vassals, though a lot of our vassals won't like us. Be able to see. They'll probably make a ton of money if we're not losing it all to rebels. See, once all these boats get here, we're simply just going to storm the capital and just completely siege it down. That's the plan. It looks like they're moving all their troops up north here. So we should be fine. As long as we don't die. That's the trick. Looks like these men are going to die, though. Now we can get him a boat. So you're going to spend. So we currently have 31,000 men. I think that should be enough for the first assault. Anyone they send to us, we will simply just reinforce from our boats. Oh, we have plenty enough. Now let's just go assault this. 60% in our favor. Oh, wow. There really is a battle somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere, doesn't really matter. It looks like they're not going to fight us. That's good. I was going to march the capital. It's going to wait take way too long. So let's go take care of this. There we go. You know the sneaky Romans. Take our boats. Murder mount. Let's go here. And there's another troops here. And then we should be good. Should win the war. Probably need to reinforce though, yeah. There we go. A hundred percent we won. GG you lose. Now to make sure that all these people will not die from attrition. We to find everyone that's uh, not on levy. Is there a few boats out about? You always have these boats here. Very well. 
But now we still have five extra people we need to take care of. So I think we need to lower centralization down. Yeah, it's a medium. Yeah, just vote for that. You know you want to. But we do need to find more people to bury. You want to... no. But having all these people here is simply not optimal. So, Kimarushi can't do anything about it. This part of Georgia, nothing we can do. This part of Bavaria, though. Javoke your title. Yeah, let's get rid of it. And let's see here. Let's give it all to Burgundy. Congratulations, you're now a double king. Like it's one of one... One vassal. Bit dangerous, giving this land out. But it does consolidate the land a bit more. Let's see... A bunch of dukes. Dispont of Brittany. Let's get rid of you. And give it to the King of France. Oh, let's actually destroy this. Can we destroy the Kingdom of Brittany? Ah, there we go. And then go to the King of France. And transfer vassalage. Uh, Vanners. I think we can actually. We all traitor though. No. So we cannot transfer this land over. No. Oh well. I'll deal with you later. But, uh, yeah, there's not really too much we can deal with, can we? Can we your title? And give Aquitaine one. No. Let's get to Jerusalem. Berries are not many people. Oh well. I think I'll have to decide what I have to do later. But for now, I think I need to call it part here. So I'll be seeing you in the next episode. When we continue to manage the empire a bit more with a few less civil wars. I'll see you then and goodbye.